there we go. Um, Hello. Harry, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. Now, you're going to have to help. I want to make sure I get it. I've been, I've been rehearsing. Um, to, uh, the, you're a, a very handsome man, and you've got a yeah. beautiful name, Harry <laughs> Kondabolu. Hari. Hari Kundabolu. Yeah. I, I was close. You were worried about the second part. You messed up the first part. What yeah. was yeah, The first Harry. part, you got Harry. pretty good. I've been saying Hari, Hari all morning. I just <laughs> said Harry. You said Harry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What happens? <laughs> Hari. Look, if, I don't know if you, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote my pronouncer out. Damn it. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> you wrote Harry. He wrote me. out Harry. It's Harry. <laughs> yeah, he's not a wizard or a baseball announcer. <laughs> yeah. I circled Harry. Well, it's great to see you, Harry. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? How are all you? Good. Yeah, doing real well. Good. Uh, you are famous for your, um, among other things, your movie about the Simpsons and Apu. Um, yeah, fa famous is, is one word for it. Yeah. <laughs> are, you getting, are, you getting a lot of, are you getting a lot of pushback on that? Oh, God. They won't leave me alone. Been, the thing came out six years ago, and I still get hate mail every day. I mean, a lot of it's in Spanish now, so it's like, really, the hate is global. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, when it, when it started coming in Portuguese, I was super bummed because I've always wanted to go to Brazil. And it's like, oh, now that's out. <laughs> wow. The letters are all just Hank Azaria pretending to be foreign. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny. Hank and I are friends now. Yeah, he, like, he actually been... really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, you know, it, it's the, the funniest thing that came out of this is, you know, Hank and I are, are, are friends now. And we chat, you know, fairly often about cool. things we might want to work on. And, like, he's great. He's, you know, honestly, I think it was a big moment for both of us. That, uh, or, do you do any voiceover work? A little bit, a little bit. I was uh, did voiceover work for this Disney show called Mira Royal Detective, and then there's another show I did a character for that I can't remember right now. But yeah, I've done a little bit. Well, here's an awkward question. Yeah, did they ever say to you, um, like, 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 put a little spice on it, or in some kind of way to say, hey, we'd really like? Oh, to to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, not to me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like that, unless they want another documentary. <laughs> 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 Can you t can you talk like your uncle for us? I, I, well, there, there are famous stories. Uh, Margaret Cho said that she was told to be more Asian, stuff like that. Uh, you know, uh, I think hopefully things are getting better. Oh, things are definitely better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. Are, I think you know it's a it's a healthy mix of um, you know people learning new things, fighting ignorance, and also fear. Yeah, uh, the, <laughs> just the fear of of something, you know, destroying one's career. So well, there I think are rabble-rousers like you out there causing trouble. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you, have no idea how, you have no idea how nervous I was trying to get your name right, and I screwed up your first name. Damn it. It's okay. Okay. You know, I mean, you, you you put the work in. I appreciate it. Yeah, Hari Kondabolu. Yeah, it's, and it's quick. You say it. You say yeah, it very quickly. It's quick. Yeah, it's like I've I've said it my whole life. <laughs> wow. Did did you have uh, growing up? Did you get a lot of grief going to uh, to to school from your buddies or non buddies? I grew up in Queens, New York, so we gave like all of us gave each other grief. You know what I mean? Like we were all from different places, so you know. Your parents are never going, yeah, yours is too. And yours, and your grandfather. Like, what do you, it's like, got to find other things to tease people hey, about. Hey, your yeah. family is slightly newer to this country than my family yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Ah! Exactly. <laughs> um, it's, the it's really the funniest thing because, you know, when I travel around the country, like people every now and then, less often now, but you would say, where are you from with the expectation being India? And, you know, they'll say that, and then I'll, I'll ask them where they're from, and they'll, like, give me a town outside of Boston. I'm like, do you not know how to play this game? <laughs> like, this is, we're going through immigration history. Because in New York, I, like, I knew white people, but they weren't white. They, uh, they're Irish, and they're Greek, and, they're, like, they would, they would break down the fractions or which generation came over. Hmm. So it was, like, a reciprocal thing. But in the rest of the country, it's just like, nah, born and raised. Yeah. Melrose Mass. <laughs> grandfather, your great-grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Harry is on the road. Um, among other places, I know you're going to be at Fort Collins at the Comedy Fort, yeah. October 12th through the 14th. Uh, I, I I love the names of comedy clubs. I mean, the yeah. Comedy Fort makes sense. 
But you know, a lot of them. New one too. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are named after mental illness, which I always find hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, tonight it's schizo. Mm -hmm. Uh, Right. (laughs) uh, Do are there any weirdo comedy club names in your past that you'd like to mention? Let me think. There's a really interesting one in Richmond, Virginia, Sandman's. uh, I think it's called Sandman's Comedy Club because the the nickname of the owner is Sandman, so Mm. it's called Sandman's. Uh, but everyone who enters that that club does not know the backstory, so it's just like, okay, Sandman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going to go to sleep, or they're going to pl- play Metallica music. I'm not sure what the, <laughs> right. what, the, what the connection is. I know there used to be Sir Laughs a Lot. Oh God! In Memphis, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, Josh, did you have any uh, great names? Sir Laughs a Lot was definitely one yeah, in Springfield too. Had- yeah, in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> well, uh, uh, now you're on the road. Do you are you drive to a lot of these gigs? Are you flying all over the place? What's the? Uh- yeah, it's it's flying, and some of them. I mean, I don't drive, so you know, usually I get an opener that can drive, but I make sure they know it's based on their talent and not the fact they can drive. I pick them. Because of their immense. Now, talent. when you say you and can't, you can't drive. You don't have a driver's license. I don't know how to drive. I never learned. Okay, can I ask you another question? Oh boy. Yeah. Um, don't take this the wrong way. Um, <laughs> um, and I ask for a reason. Can you swim? No. See. Tom says to every person born in New York City, "Can you I, swim?" I went to college in New York City, and um, and it, when I went there, I don't know if they still do this. You had to be able to swim to graduate. I'm in some. In I'm some not schools. kidding. Yeah. And um, my a, brother a, had that. A lot of the guys mm-hmm. that were from New York, a couldn't drive and b couldn't swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, learning to swim is, I think, is really important. And there's there's a whole racial component to why it's not happening. I get it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But yeah, yeah. I think it's really important to uh, for schools to make sure everyone knows how to swim for obvious reasons. Uh, but I, yeah, and I'm I'm not. Mocking you for not being able to swim, although I, just, it's I am. Learn to swim. <laughs> if you want to be, a- <laughs> you land lubber. <laughs> uh, we throw you in the lake. You learn like my dad taught me. Oh, uh, do you do you just not have any desire to drive? You know, at this point, I'm 40. I feel like. You know, the self-driving cars are just around the corner. I feel like <laughs> I beat every, like, I, I just beat everybody. Like, everyone's like, oh, you don't know how to drive. You don't know how to drive. And now it's like, oh, what a waste of time learning how to drive when yes. you didn't need it after all. It's the new algebra. <laughs> yeah. We have machines that can do this for us. I beat the system. I just waited it out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you Uber a lot. I Uber a lot, and again, you know, openers will drive. And I mean, it's hard being a touring comic who doesn't know how to drive. It's not the most practical thing in the world, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a pain in the butt, but I've I've gotten through it. And New York, it's all public transportation anyway, so at least locally, I'm all right. Yeah, at the risk of once again sounding like an idiot, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I Uber a lot too. And invariably meet a lot of people from a lot of other countries. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not yeah, trying to stereotype. It's just, it's no, a simple it's, fact. It's, and, it's, I mean, the reason for that is just because it's, it, it, you know, you're struggling to get work. And just like everyone else, it's like right there. All you need to do is learn how to drive. And a lot of folks, at least in New York, were cab, like cab drivers or, or uh, limo drivers to begin with. And now all of a sudden they got to go to Uber or, or Lyft. Um, I I always ask the question, how do you like driving for Uber? How do you like driving for Lyft? Which is like such a bad question. I think a lot of us ask that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I do it because it's but, like, what do I want them to say? Oh, this PhD in physics from Pakistan completely paid off. <laughs> I was a now, nuclear physicist in, yeah. in Uzbekistan, but now yeah. I'm uh, drunks around. Uh, Hari, do you know? Have you noticed that there's a box you can check that if you don't want them to talk to you? Yes. Which I find so offensive. Now they probably yeah. find that offensive that I insist on talking <laughs> and always ask them lots of questions. <laughs> and um, for the most part, a lot of these men and women love doing it. And, uh, I mean, I, I've had a really good experience with it, 
but I I, don't just, I always like to find out about them and you know what are they doing where do they live sure, you know why did yeah. they move here a lot of them do say they love doing it as they're driving you around for tips yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly. yeah exactly yeah, I'm you wondering you why you're stalking them <laughs> smiling <laughs> See, now uh, uh, Hari Hari I don't know if you can if you can look at your phone do you know because as you know you rate the drivers mm -hmm. but yes. they rate you back of course hate it I hate it so <laughs> so we had this argument in the air one day <laughs> and, and I was the only one that had a five out of five is you it have still a five? five yeah you never pissed to anybody else? I over tip. It's mm -hmm. that's the American way, Ari. You don't piss Smart. them off even as, even when you ask, no, where are you really from? Is what I meant <laughs> right. to say. And I have like a 4.98. How the hell does that work? It's it's when you're drunk, Christy. It's when you're drunk. When I'm drunk, I got that two percent. If you have a girlfriend off. in the car, you guys are gossiping a little Damn. bit, they'll put you down. Uh, right. I should point out that Hari is a comedian, and I have uh, yet to mention he's gonna be at the uh, famous comedy attic. Uh, this weekend, and then it's October 12th and 14th, Fort Collins at the Comedy Fort. Um, anything unusual on your mind these days we need to have you tell us before we let you go? What's unusual? I mean, I have a kid, so all the gossip I have or things I'm thinking about are in terms of, like, there's not enough stroller parking in Brooklyn. And <laughs> how, how old? How Three. old? Three? Three. Yeah. We, well, there's real quick, we had a scientific study this morning of 500,000 people. What is the happiest age? I landed on three or four, but there's a whole graph of how, when you're happy and when you're not. And yeah, lo th there's nothing better in the world than a three year old. Maybe well, I'm not going to break. The I'm not going to break the news to him that he's peaked already. No, no, no. Well, Harry, what a great pleasure speaking to you. I hope you can get you back know. in the studio next time you're around, okay? At 100%, absolutely. And, uh, and I would I, I recommend uh, check out Harry on uh, the, the internet if you're wondering, well, how do I spell it? K-O-N-D-A-B-O-L-U. <laughs> I'm going to spell it out for everybody. <laughs> they can find out what you're all about. And um, uh, next time I see you, I expect you to at least have learned uh, the dog paddle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you want to learn how to swim? Oh. I do want to learn how to swim. I mean, I did a TV pilot about learning how to swim, which was terrifying. Uh, and then I didn't get the TV show, so now what's the point? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the point. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, I, I, yeah. Take some swimming lessons and call us back. Sure. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Thanks, Ari. Oh God, I love that guy. So funny.